So I've been wanting to teach you guys how to add page transitions in React. So here we have a video. So in this video, we're going to be learning how to add cool page transitions using only React and nothing else. So here we have the website wherein we have a top bar with red color. And then we have the logo, the navigation or the nav items. We have the title, a background in red, a paragraph of text, and then a button. Now, let's just say I go from one page to another. You see, when I move from one page to another, we have this smooth transition or page transition animation, which makes it pretty smooth and looks pretty sleek. So we're going to be learning this in this video. So if I go to works, now we see the same transition. The only difference is as we go to different pages, the theme of the background or basically the overlay and also these changes so we're going to be learning this in this video the source code is in the description so you guys can download that play with it now if this is your first time watching my video please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't turn the notifications bell on so that you're notified whenever i upload a new video i bring in cool stuff like this every week so yeah without delay let's get started and let's learn how to build this so this is the site that we have running on the port localhost 5173. Now here, as you can see, the page structure is pretty simple. Same structure follows everywhere. So we have the same structure here in about, works, and also in the contact. The only difference is this top bar changes its color along with this. So to explain this, we have a single page.jsx component which is basically responsible for having this common structure that we have across all the different pages and then this is getting called in all other different places so we have the same structure getting followed in the home about contact and also in the works after that is done we have the navigations we have this navigation.jsx um, component and then we have this page layout.jsx now this page layout.jsx is basically responsible for the main core functionality that we're going to be having so here first what it does kind of maps through each individual component and then also adds a specific color to it so that when we go to any specific page the color changes according to that specific component and then also what's happening here is we take that and we change the background color here so this is basically for the transition overlay now it might seem that it has a low height or whatever but actually we have the overflow hidden so this is quite large and this is off screen so we're going to be showing a short portion of it initially and then what would happen is when we animate would bring the entire thing and cover the entire page and then take it back up so there's that and then also we use react router to basically route through different pages now if you want an in-depth video on react router you can comment down i'll make a video on react router as well so this is basically the core functionality that we have as of now first would have this location so we already have the use location hook which gives us the location which has the path name now we're gonna we're gonna start a use effect now this use effect would get called every time the path name changes basically whenever we move from one page to another now whenever we do that we want to handle or we want to trigger a function so first let's create that function now this function would be named as handle route change now this is going to be an asynchronous function what this would do is basically would tell that hey i'm triggered so you can start the animation so we need a variable or a use state to keep track of whether we're currently animating or not so here i already have a use state variable when we have this um, is animating and then this the setter function as set is animating so initially we don't animate so we have it as false now what we want to do is when this function gets called initially we want to set the as uh, set is animating to true and then what we want to do is we want to tell the dom that hey we only wait or we only animate for a specific interval time so here what we need to do is we need to add a new promise and we'll basically be waiting for some specific amount of time to have this promise resolved after this set timeout ends. So we're going to resolve it after 600 milliseconds and then we're going to set the is animating value again to false. Now what we want to do is we want to call this function. Let's save and let's run it. 
Now, when I go to different page, nothing actually works because even though we're calling the function, we're not using is animating anywhere. So what we want to do is here, since we're going to be using frame or motion to do it, even though you can do it absolutely using TSAP and also the simple transition, you can do it obviously in CSS, but I'm going to be using frame or motion. So here, this div, we can change this into a frame or motion div by just adding motion.div and there we have it. Now we can add animations to it. So initially, what we want to do is initially we want this to be up top. So we have the translate Y as negative 100 viewport height. So initially when the page loads, it would always stay at top. If you go to a different page, it stays at the same place. But what we want to do is we want to animate. But when do we want to animate? We want to animate if the is animating value is true. Then what we want to do is we want this to come and take the entire screen, basically zero viewport height. And then if this is false, go back to your negative 100 viewport height. Now, if I were to save this, let's just go to a different place. You see the jerk. All right. This is happening because we don't have any transition and it just messes everything up. So let's add a transition here and also a duration. Let's save. And now we have this smooth effect. Hmm, pretty nice, right? But then there's one more problem. When we're going from one page to another, we also are able to see the content getting changed, which basically just ruins the purpose of adding a page transition. So what we want to do is while it is transitioning from one page to another and while we're showing the animation, we don't want the content to be shown. So for that, all we have to do is here, we just have to check if this is, is animating. So here we just check if this is not animating, only then show the content, else keep it blank. Let's save and there we go. Now we can also have this a smooth animation using motion div, but I'm just going to be leaving this as is. So hope this video was helpful. Hope you guys learned how to add cool animations and cool transitions between your react pages so hope this video was helpful meet you guys in the next video the source code is in the description so make sure to download that play with it and have fun meet you guys in the next video till then bye bye take care